Hi, I'm Kai and today we want to have a look on how we can place a report manually in ePlan and how we can place it on any page where you want. This solution can help, for example, your panel builder or your commissioning team when you provide some additional information for them, which helps them to do their job a little bit easier. A few examples I will show you in this video, so stay tuned. So in the first example, we want to place a small report for this cable here. When you think about the commissioning, the guy who need to connect this cable will maybe work on this terminal stripe and connect here these cores. This is very easy. And maybe he jumped to the opposite side and want to connect here the opposite side of the cable. But here he cannot see the cores, numbers or colors. And here we want to give a little bit support with a small report and place it here on this page. So therefore we go to Tools and Generate. And here we go to the tab Reports and click on New. And here on the output format, we need to change to Manual Placement. And we select a cable diagram. And here we set the checkbox Manual Selection. We don't select here current page because what happened when you select current page is that ePlan just look on this page and we don't have any cable here. So when we click OK, we cannot select a cable because on this page there is no cable. So that means we go here to manual placement and here to manual selection, but not current page. And when we click manual selection, that means we can now select from the whole project a cable. And the cable I have used here for my example is the first one. I can move it to the right side with the arrow and get now a report only for this one cable. Here I don't set any filter, but I change the form. Otherwise, Eplan will select the form from your project settings. So I use, for example, this form. You can see now what happened is that we use this form. Maybe you need to change this form a little bit to your requirements. But for this example, I think it shows very well the advantage of this. And now your commissioning team can exactly have a look here. OK, these are the cores which goes to this terminal stripe here and connect according to your report. So now I delete it. And we make another example. For example, you want to show the terminal stripe for your panel builder. Maybe you have also a lack of skilled workers and the terminal stripes will be built by some untrained people and you want to support a little bit so that it's easier for them to build this terminal stripe. So therefore, we go again to general report. Click on plus. And we change here to manual placement and look, for example, for a terminal lineup diagram. What you also can see is that depending on what kind of report you select, here you sometimes cannot activate current page or manual selection, and for others, you can do it. So now I select current page and manual selection. What is basically not necessary because I have just one terminal stripe on this page. And now you can see that I just get this one here and select it and move to the right. Click OK. And here I select the F12002. And you can see a nice terminal line up diagram with graphics. And this supports now your panel builder because now also uh, uneducated or untrained people can build this terminal stripe according to this part list. And the graphics also helps to make it on the right way. Do you use already such manual placements for reports to support others? Please leave a comment and give me some ideas for what you use this function. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. 
drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.